Hello everyone, today we're going to be building the hidden blade from Assassin's Creed and if you don't know how it looks like, it looks like this. So, the first step is to bring out a tube. Let's move this here, increase the size, turn it 90 degrees, move it up, zero. Make the ball thickness as one. Let's increase this. Make the size as 64. Increase this all the way. Make about 105. Yep. And now let's bring in this. Let's turn this this way to 90 degrees. Let's increase the height. Make it um, a hole and move it in. Now we just make it like this, decrease this to about here. Yep, like that. And now we just increase this a bit. Now, after we have done this, we'll bring in a cylinder, make the size of 64, bring it down to about 11, and increase this to about 46, we bring this up, make it a hole, move it back, Duplicate. Move it back a bit. We take these two shapes, we align. Now we can group. Yep, this seems good. Now we can to get this shape. Yep, that's perfect. Now Let's work on the like thing to hold the hidden blade, sliding part. So we br let's bring in this, this shape, a box, let's make it about 85. Now we duplicate this shape, move it to the side, then we increase it a bit to about 92, then we change it to 2 degrees. From that 2 degrees we can get this shape now from here we duplicate this shape again. We duplicate this shape, turn it this way, and move it all the way there. Now we make these two a hole. Now we take these two shapes and group. Now we take all of these three shapes, align it, and now we group to get this shape. Now let's decrease this to 6 and then now let's bring in a uh, wedge. Now let's make turn this wedge this way to 90 degrees, now change this also to 90 degrees. Now we bring this down to 6, we make it smaller. this we make it a hole we increase the height about more than it needs to be so we're safe now we turn this by two degrees now we move this back and forth until we get the correct area yep like that Let's move this back, front, back, front, yep, like that. Now we have this shape, we can like move this down a bit, so let's bring it to the top, bring it down, up. Now we duplicate the shape, move it here. Now we 
bring it to the correct area. Now we take these two shapes, we group. Yep, and now we align like that. To get this shape. Yep, perfect. And now from here, we bring in this. We turn it this way, 90 degrees. So let's bring it to zero. Move a block in. Yep, perfect. We move it back. This shape we duplicate, we move it all the way down. Now we mirror it, then we move it all the way to the back. Now we can do all of these shapes. Once we have done that, let's make it smaller, make it a bit longer, and then we just attach it. Yeah. Now we just increase the height of this from the front all the way to the back. Now we do this. Maybe we can increase this a bit. Yep. Now let's make this a bit shorter. Is that 67? That's good enough to bring it up and right about like here. We can be a bit smaller down. And now we align to get this shape. Now that we have this, we can duplicate this shape. We move it back until the very edge. We make it smaller like this and we make it bigger. Yep, exactly like that. Right up to the end. Now we just bring this down. Bring it. Like this. Now we align with this. Now we um, undo all of these shapes, make this smaller. We just align all of this to get this shape. Let's just make bring this a bit higher. Yep, like that. And now we'll work on the design on the back. So let's bring in this shape to about two. We bring this up. And then, no, let's make this 1.5. Yep, and now we'll bring this all the way here. Now we'll bring it all the way back, like this. This may be a bit too high, let's bring it to this high. Yep, and now select these two shapes, a group to get this. Now let's work on like making this part go away. So let's duplicate this. Yeah, uh, let's ungroup, then we duplicate this shape. 
to make it smaller just for now now we select all of these shapes now we group and now from the small shape from inside we'll bring it up all the way to make sure it's covering yes let's make it a hole first let's make this wall thickness as 30 like the highest it can be then we take all of these shapes one two three we group and now all of it is just gone, disappear. And now let's work on the actual hidden blade. So let's bring a box. Let's increase it to about 93. Then we bring this. Bring 90. Bring this up to zero. Now attach these two shapes. Oops. Like this. Now from here we can group. Take the, these two shapes. We group. We bring it down to six. Now we bring in this. We duplicate this. We mirror up like this. Now we group these two shapes. Now make it a full. Now make it down six degrees. We turn it. Uh, let's bring it here. Let's turn it 90 degrees. We put it on here. Making sure not to touch this area. We move it down. Down up. This to about the middle, yeah. Let's increase this now. Let's move it all the way back. Now we bring it in like this. Now we duplicate the shape and we mirror it right there. We move it all the way here. We take these two shapes, we group it. Now, now we take this shape and we align with the rest. Now we just make this shape a bit longer all the way here. Now we first. Let's ungroup this again. We take one of we duplicate and we take one of it out. Now we group like that. Now let's make this way shorter to about like 37. Let's turn this 45 degrees. Let's put this on here. And if it is not perfect, it's okay. We can just use this and make it better yep this is good now we duplicate this we mirror it now we keep moving and now let's take all of these shapes like click this button so it, we're like like following it and now just like you see these two shapes if we move it up and down it's not even like the shadow area so move it up so it's like the triangle or uh, rhombus now we um, do that and now we have a sharp blade now we can increase this however you want like this we move it up move it back a bit we make it smaller Now we'll just make it thinner so it fits in between this. Now we do all of this in a line. Up. Thinner. Like this. Perfect. 
and now let's see the height of this red area seems to be 96 and this is 95 so let's make this 94 so it when it goes back in it perfectly fits so now that we have this let's add some um, like band so in the in the game there is like like bands connecting it so let's make this gray first of all and this light gray this also light gray so let's duplicate this shape move it in make it like very small yep like that now we just make it a bit bigger like this move it down exactly like that now we duplicate this oh. now, now, we, now we duplicate this move it in the middle and then duplicate yep like that now we have some bands and now let's add some like lines to cut across the the like leather part so let's increase this let's bring in a whole box let's make it about four to increase it like that let's make it 45 degrees yep now we extend it like this let's change it back maybe make this up two change it 45 make it 45 degrees There, yes, now we duplicate this as always. Now we move it all the way there. Yep, now we take these two shapes, we move again, now we align with everything. Bam, and now we can group these two shapes. Now we have this cool looking thing all across it and there's a reason for the bands now. So now this is the last step. It's to make the skull on the over here. So let's do this. So let's bring in a, a scribble and and let's draw like a half circle first or just a bit more than half but yeah and now we bring this in like shown now from here bring it down here as well bring it down and we bring it like this side Now let's color all this in. Like this, and now we bring in a eraser and we'll just draw this. all of this and we just draw thing bam boom like that I think it's like this I'm not exactly sure but let's keep it like this it looks pretty cool now let's um, make 
the like shield uh, so now we're just making the exact same thing as before so this turn up zero cube there now we duplicate move to the edge and we turn mirror line then group now we have to make this thick like this then we ungroup again yep like this and now we place this on here but we have to make this black this Here, we'll put it. Oh, now we'll take this, move it down. We can make it smaller. Yep, move it up, put it on here, make it smaller again, move it down. Now we can align everything. our Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. Thank you for watching.